Hello everyone and welcome to the Wire community which is all about winning your dreams. In this video we are going to discuss the Nobel prizes for 2023. Nobel prizes are considered to be the most prestigious awards in the world. Initially when the Nobel prizes were started at the beginning of the 20th century they were given away in five fields but later on the sixth field of economics was also added. As you can see on this screen, this is the Nobel Medal that is given at the time of the of the uh, when the prize is awarded. So this man over here, whose portrait you can see, is Alfred Nobel. He was the man who established the Nobel prizes, and they are named after him, of course. Alfred Nobel, Nobel prizes, and. Uh, this is uh, his year of, uh, you know, the number of years that he lived. And there's a very interesting story actually behind how the Nobel Prizes got started. So it's very interesting that the Nobel Prizes actually started out of guilt of Alfred Nobel. So on 27th of November, 1895, Alfred Nobel signed his will and testament and he had a lot of fortune. He had earned a lot of money through various patents, which he pledged towards a particular fund from which the Nobel Prize money is given to this date. And in today's money, it would be approximately 1700 million Swedish kroners. You heard it right because he was from Sweden. So the prize money is in the Swedish currency, which is Swedish crown. So he invested all that money, created a fund, and that fund is funding the Nobel Prizes ever since. It's been more than 123 years that the awards are being presented. 1901 was the first year when the awards were first presented. Now, how these got started is a very interesting story. So Alfred Nobel is the inventor of dynamite. So dynamite was invented by him and when he invented it he had no idea that it's going to be used in the wars that it's going to be so destructive to humanity that he will feel guilty about it at a later date but when it happened he actually felt very guilty he thought that he had invented something that is destroying humanity that's being used in the wars and is killing people so out of his guilt he started these prizes and his vision statement was that these awards are to be given to the people who do something constructive for the humanity, whether it is in the fields of sciences or in the fields of art and literature or in the field of world peace. So his intent was to exactly do the opposite of what he thought he did when he invented the dynamite. So he wanted to do to honor the people who did something constructive for the world. And that is how the idea of Nobel Prizes came into his mind and he conceptualized it and he implemented it. That is the story behind the initiation of Nobel Prizes. Now, there are five fields in which he started or he sought to start the Nobel Prizes. Physics, chemistry, physiology or medicine, that's the same thing, literature and peace. These were the five fields in which originally Nobel Prizes were started. Later on, in 1968, the economic Nobel was also started. So it is known as the Swedish Riksbank or the Sweden Central Bank Prize for Economic Sciences, which is given in the memory of Alfred Nobel, of course. So why there was no Nobel for economics in 1901 because perhaps at that time economics as a subject or as a field of study was not that prominent but as the world moved towards greater economic models capitalism and all that uh, the Nobel committee decided that this is a field that deserves a Nobel of its own maybe a new Nobel uh, may be added in the at a future date also there are uh, talks that a Nobel may be added for environment protection, a Nobel may be added for mathematics. So, of course, it's an evolving thing. The institutions, if we talk about, 
there are different respective institutes that choose the awardees. First is the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences is responsible for giving away the awards in physics, chemistry, and economics. Right? Then the Swedish Academy in Literature, Karolinska Institute in Physiology or Medicine, and the Norwegian Nobel Committee gives out the award in peace. So these are different, uh, these are like research institutions and universities which choose the different winners depending upon their expertise. Since it's an academic heavy award, research and development award So it is absolutely necessary that the people who examine whether the whether the invention or discovery is worth this award should be experts in that field. Right? So they are awarded to organizations also and individuals also. And in a particular year, in a particular category, not more than three people or organizations or a mixture of those can be given this award. Not more than three. That is something that they adhere to. These award ceremonies are held in uh, on actually 10th of December, which is the death anniversary of Alfred Nobel. So, 10 December ko har saal ye ceremony hoti hai. And now, the awards are given in two separate ceremonies. One is held in Stockholm, the capital of Sweden, and one is held in Oslo, which is the capital of Norway. So, it is only the Nobel Peace Prize that is presented in Oslo, Norway, whereas all the other five awards are presented in Stockholm, Sweden. The reason is that when Nobel, uh, when Alfred Nobel was alive, Norway and Sweden were under one monarch. Later on, they got split. Norway became an independent kingdom. So at the time of his writing this will, Norway and Sweden were a combined monarchy. But later on in 1905, Norway became an independent kingdom. So the honor of Nobel Peace was given to Norway and all the other prizes are presented by the Sweden. That is one distinction as well. Now, if we take a look at the winners of this year. So in 2023, the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. So these are the 2023 winners. The Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine has gone to Catalin Carrico and Drew Weisman for their work on mRNA vaccines. So we know how much the world has been uh, turned upside down due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And we also should acknowledge the role that some of the scientists made while inventing these vaccines that have saved the world, that have saved millions of lives in the successive waves of COVID-19. So Catalin Carrico and Drew Weisman did amazing work on mRNA vaccines. And due to that, the efficacy of the vaccines increased manifold. And the entire world has got vaccinated. Uh, that is primarily because of the efforts of Catalin Carrico and Drew Weisman. So because of their pioneering work on those vaccines development, the medicine Nobel has been awarded to them. Second, the physics Nobel has gone to Pierre Agostini, Ferenc Roche, and Annie Hullier. For now, in physics, this award has been given for their experimental methods that generate attosecond pulses of light for the study of electron dynamics in matter. So now they have gone to such a minute scale in studying the pulses of light, they have gone to the attosecond level. The attosecond level, which is so minute that it needs a very high level of research to reach that level. <clears throat> so because of that, they have been awarded this. So attosecond basically is a unit of time in international system of units, which is equivalent to 1 into 10 raised to power minus 18 of a second. One into 10 raised to power minus 18 of a second. That is an attosecond, right? So for comparison, we can say that one attosecond is to a second that a second is to about 31.71 billion years. That is how small 
one attosecond is as compared to a second as a second is compared to 31.71 billion years. So that is the level of sophistication that they have been able to research in. And for that, they have been awarded this award. This has promising applications in the field of nanotechnology. In the field of chemistry, Nobel has gone to Mongi Bevendi, Louis Bruss, and Alexei and Akimov for their discovery and synthesis of quantum dots. Now, again, quantum dots are really, really minute particles, and their discovery has, again, a lot of uh, uh, applications in the real world. So for discovering the synthesis of quantum dots, these three have been awarded the Nobel in chemistry this year. Then literature, John Fossey has been awarded for his innovative plays and prose which give voice to the unsayable. John Fossey is the winner of the Nobel Prize in Literature for his for giving voice to the unsayable. So he is a writer from Norway. He is a writer as well as playwright as well as translator. And uh, some of his plays include like uh, The Dream of Autumn, The Name. And he has also been give, uh, awarded with several other international prizes just to cap it up with Nobel Prize in Literature. Right. So he has written books in which he has tried to highlight the plight of the people who do not have any say. Then we have the Nobel Peace Prize. Every year, the most controversial prize is the Nobel Peace Prize, because sometimes it is awarded to a person who is against a certain country's establishment or government. So we know that in the last one year, a lot of protests have happened in Iran because of uh, the compulsion by the Iranian establishment for women wearing hijab in public places. And there was a protester named Mahasa Amini who was killed in custody by the morality police of Iran. And because of that, there were a lot of protests in Iran in which hundreds of people died. So it was about... So there were a lot of protests in Iran against... Uh, the death of Masa Amini and so many women cut their hair in public. They openly defied the Iranian morality police. They, uh, you know, took off their hijab. So that happened. So among all this, Nargis Mohammadi has won the Nobel Peace Prize. Why? For her fight against the oppression of women in Iran and her fight to promote human rights and freedom for all. In fact, her parents were also activists in Iran and she has been raising the issues of women's oppression in Iran for the last more than two decades now. Right now, she's in jail, which is not surprising. And she has been recognized for her fight against the oppression of women in Iran, for which she has been awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. And finally, the Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences or Economics has gone to Claudia Golden. Amazing work she has done for having advanced our understanding of women's labor market outcomes. So actually, economics as a field of study is not very old. We have only about half a century or a little more than that to credit the research and development that has been done in the field of economics. So the whole world apparently has a very simplistic idea of how the economic development in a country leads to increased participation of women in the labor force. Claudia Golden's research shows that this is not actually that simple. That it is true that with the increase in a country's economic uh, prosperity, women's participation in labor force does increase, but only till a particular point. After that, it starts decreasing as well. Unless you increase the human capital, you increase the literacy rate, you increase uh, gender parity, you know, so many things she has mentioned that they need to be there. Only then it is a linear arc, you know, that the economic prosperity is increasing, let's say 10% every year, and women's participation is also increasing in the same proportion. That happens only when certain prerequisites are satisfied. It's not that simple that a country grows economically and the women also grow. 
does not necessarily happen. That is the research of Claudia Golden, which is going to play a phenomenal and central role in policy planning by so many countries, including India, can learn from that, that how we can re uh, increase women's participation in the labor market and how we should not entirely depend on our economic development for increasing the participation of women in labor force. So that is all the uh, winners of 2023 Nobel Prizes. Now, there are certain stark facts about Nobel Prizes that we should know. For example, 1901 till now, more than 600 times the Nobel Prize and the Economic Sciences Prizes have been awarded, more than 600 times. Of them, 90, approximately 90 are Economic Sciences laureates. And it's not that Nobel Prizes have seen a very linear uh, implementation. There have been certain years when the Nobel Prizes have not been awarded. In fact, the total number of times are 49 when the Nobel Prize has not been awarded. There can be various reasons for that. Maybe the World Wars, World War I, World War II, or maybe the Nobel Committee did not find anyone suitable. So it's not necessary that the award has to be given to someone. If they do not find anyone worthy, that let it be. That's the philosophy of the Nobel Committee. But there has to be no compromise with the quality of the uh, award, right? So a total of 49 times the Nobel Prizes have not been awarded in all the categories combined. And if we talk about women, so it's very less number of women who have been awarded the Nobel Prizes. And there is a record for an organization that is International Committee of the Red Cross. This is the only organization in the world that has won a Nobel Peace Prize three times. Just imagine, the most prestigious award in the world has been won by a single organization, not one, not twice, but three times. And to top it up, the person who founded that organization, Henry Dunant, was also awarded a Nobel Peace Prize separately. In fact, he was the first ever winner of Nobel Peace Prize in 1901. So in total, the organization and the founder have four Nobel Prizes. Just imagine. That's a world record. Similarly, the most successful Nobel family is considered to be the Curie family. It's known as the Nobel Prize family because she was awarded the Nobel Prize twice and her husband was awarded the Nobel Prize once. So this couple had three Nobel Prizes to their credit. These are some of the outstanding facts about Nobel. Then if we look at some of the first time winners. So the first woman to be awarded the Nobel Prize was Marie Curie for physics in 1903. Sabse pehla woman ko jo mila tha, thankfully it was in the, uh, you know, not very far from uh, when the awards were presented for the first time. So, the first awards were awarded in 1901. Mein, and 1903 was the year when the first woman was also awarded. Thereby uh, refuting the argument that it was a male-centric, uh, you know, committee or say something like that. No. It was a woman who won the award in the third year itself. Then the first person and only woman to be awarded Nobel in two different fields is again Marie Curie. So for physics, she won it in 1903. And for chemistry, she won in 1911. Two Nobel Prizes, same person, world record. She was the first to do it. First man to be awarded Nobel Prize in two different fields was Linus Pauling. He got it for chemistry in 1954 and for peace in 1962. Linus Pauling. First Asian to be awarded the Nobel Prize. This is very famous because he was the first Indian as well. Rabindranath Tagore in 1913 for literature. So there was a very famous and critically acclaimed book called Gitanjali, which was a collection of poetry for which he got the Nobel Prize in literature. Then the first African woman considered to be some of the most underprivileged people in the world 
first you are an African and then you're a woman. So first African woman to get a Nobel Prize, it took a lot of time. 2004 was the first year when an African woman won this award. So like from 1901 till 2004, after 103 years of the initiation of the awards, first African woman won it. Wangari Mathai from Kenya in peace. But thankfully, there have been certain African winners after that. Then the first person to be awarded the Nobel Prize in physics, first ever, 1901, Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen. Röntgen is also the unit for measuring exposure to x-rays and he discovered x-rays. Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen. Then the first person to be awarded the Nobel Prize in the field of literature in English language was Rudyard Kipling, the jungle fame, jungle book fame. The 1907 may subset pehle English language mein literature ke liye mila tha Nobel Prize Rudyard Kipling ko. Subse pehla Nobel Prize for Peace, we did this, Jean Henry Dunant ko mila tha and he was the founder of International Committee of Red Cross. So he shared this award jointly with Frederick Passy, who was the founder and president of First French Peace Society. Both of them were joint winners, Henry Dunant and Frederick Passy. First woman to be awarded Nobel Prize for Peace, Baroness Bertha Sophie Felicita, Von Satna. Okay, that's the complete name. Baroness Bertha Sophie Felicita Von Satna of Austria was awarded this prize in 1905. The youngest person ever to win any Nobel Prize was Malala Yousafzai. So pretty famous she is. The Taliban had shot her in the head. She was shot in the head and she used to advocate for women's education. But she continued doing that even after getting recovered from that injury, which was a actually a magical thing. It was a unbelievable that she survived that shot but she kept advocating for women's right to education that's why she was awarded nobel peace prize in 2014 then the only organization to be awarded the nobel prize thrice three times is the international committee of red cross we have done this right these are some of the striking facts about nobel So just reiterating certain points, the Nobel Prizes are given in accordance with the will of Swedish inventor of dynamite, Alfred Nobel. First time they were awarded in 1901. The ceremonies are held on 10th of December every year, which is the death anniversary of Alfred Nobel. All the prizes are given in Stockholm, but the Peace Prize is given in Oslo. They are given in five fields, physics, chemistry, medicine, peace and literature. In 1969, for the first time, Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences were, was given away. And there is a particular procedure through which someone can be nominated for this award. It's not like I can nominate myself. No, the candidates have to be nominated by either their acad academies like universities or institutions or previous Nobel laureates or by someone else. So all those nominations then go to the Nobel Committee. And then they choose the awardee. If we talk about the Indian winners of the Nobel Prizes. So till date, there are only a handful of Indians who have won this. So let's discuss their names and their categories from front to back, like the latest winners to the first winner, Rabindranath Tagore. So the latest winner was Abhijit Banerjee. And this includes not only the full Indians, but also the persons of Indian origin. So let's say they were born in India or they have certain roots with India, but maybe they are citizens or PRs in another country. That does not matter. We have included them all. So first was uh, the latest is Abhijit Banerjee for economic sciences. He had, uh, in fact, his wife also won it, but she was not an Indian, Esther Duflo. So he, along with his wife, shared this award along with the third awardee for his experiment, experimental approach to alleviating global poverty. 
he researched on that then kalash satyarthi in 2014 for peace so he shared this award with malala yousafzai in 2014 which was quite iconic because india pakistan are always at odds with each other but that year the nobel peace prize was shared by an indian and a pakistani anyway so he why has been awarded peace prize because of his contribution to child rights he has an ngo which is known as bachpan bachao andolan and his ngo works tirelessly for the upliftment and betterment of thousands and thousands of children so he works against the suppression of children and young people and for the rights of all children to education then venkataraman ramakrishnan first award award for an indian in the field of chemistry 2009 mein unhone award jeeta ribosome ko study karne ke liye for studying the structure and function of the ribosome amartya sen i think is a pretty famous name economics mein amartya sen ne jeeta tha welfare economics ke concept pe research karne ke liye quite a well known figure is amartya sen in indian economy then subramanyam chandrasekhar in physics so what did he do for his theoretical studies of the physical processes of importance to the structure and evolution of the stars so this is what he researched on and that's why he got this award mother teresa the founder or the leader of the missionaries of charity inko mila tha nobel peace prize for the humanitarian work that she did for decades on end then hargobind khurana inko medicine ke liye mila tha for the interpretation of the genetic code and its function in protein synthesis then cv raman the first nobel sciences winner from india science mein nobel jeetne wale pehle the aur iski wajah se inko bharat ratna bhi mila tha so what did he do he studied the scattering of light and discovered a phenomena and now that phenomena is known as the raman effect so he discovered this unique phenomena in light which was discovered after him right and then we have the first winner rabindranath tagore the very first winner not from not only from india but also from asia 1913 में जब अभी ब्रिटिश रूल चल रहा था इंडिया पे तब एक इंडियन ने नोबेल लिटरेचर जीत लिया था दैट वाज अ ह्यूज अचीवमेंट बिकॉज ऑफ दैट द कलोनियलिज्म थिंग एंड सो ही हैज रिटन दिस वर्सेस इन गीतांजलि एंड दैट्स व्हाई ही वाज अवार्डेड द नोबेल प्राइज सो दीज आर इन टोटल द नाइन विनर्स ऑफ नोबेल प्राइजेस हु आर आइदर इंडियंस or persons of indian origin that is all for this session so i hope you understood a thing or two about nobel prizes its origin its recent winners and the historical evolution and the indian winners of nobel till now that is all thank you so much and take care but before that do subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so that whenever we post a video you get the notification thank you so much and take care